Hello and welcome to the Pulsar event. We got an event today. Uh, this is the Kickstarter video. We're going to show you guys kind of how to play. Uh, we're going to go ahead and break down a little intro um, to kind of set it up. Uh, it's also going to be a little refresher for Aaron, the challenger, and Judah, the winner of the last game. Uh, so welcome to uh, Pulsar Vet. All right. It is a role-playing strategy RPG battle card system. Uh, that is the box, the complete version, uh, where you get the box and this nifty game mat. Let's go ahead and first start off the game mat, and then we'll move on to the cards. All right, you see we got two libraries here. You got one player's library, and you got the second player's library. Each uh, set comes with enough cards to build two decks, so you'll have enough for two players right out of the gate. Uh, you got a discard pile, and you got a knockout pile. You then have characters slot one, two, and three. So you can play with three characters at a time. The goal of the game is to ultimately knock out five of your opponent's characters, or to clear out all three slots. Uh, your opponent is then allowed one uh, equip phase to repopulate. If they cannot repopulate that character, you are the victor. All right, so let's come over here real quick. Let's get this guy out of the way. All right, we're gonna take a quick look at some cards. Here we got a character card. Character card here is Nora. She is a psychic. You can tell that by her emblem here, a psych character. Here in her HUD, you got the blue value, which represents her shields. You got the green value, which represents her HP or health points. And then you got the red value, which represents the AP or attack points. You have the um, attribute. This attribute is to be read when the character enters the battleground. It is what is special about your character. Underneath that, you may have some flavor text to give you a little idea about the character in the world of Pulsar Event. Over here, we have the upgrade bin. Think of this as your utility belt. These symbols represent what upgrades you can attach to your character. One symbol, one upgrade. So in this case, Nora can attach two kinetic upgrades and one repair. All right. So what's an upgrade card? Let's let's see if we could draw an upgrade card. Nope. 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 Oh, look at all those characters. Ah, so many characters to choose from. Oh no. There we go. All right. So here we got. This is a repair upgrade. The name the little wrench symbol if you see it matches the wrench symbol here so this card can attach to her uh, it tells you it's an upgrade it tells you it's a repair and it's a fix this one has two different attributes uh, you can choose one of the following uh, this is also a recovery upgrade which means it could be played during the recovery phase there are three phases to pulsar event the equip the attack and the recover. We'll get into that in a little bit. Then finally, we got the use cube. This tells you how many times an upgrade can be used before it's discarded. Uh, this one can be used once. So how would we use that? We come back over to the board. You see we got a couple of token pieces. Use cube. Once you use it, throw that back into the pile and add it to the discard, just like that. We got the character. She's got a shield of two, shield of two, so let's use two shields. And she's got an HP of six, so let's use our life counter dice, find six. That's an upside down nine, kind of looks like a six, there we go. And so once these are depleted, knock out the shields first, shields always go first. This gets reduced down to zero after an attack, and then she goes into the KO pile. Uh, as a reminder, five of those to win. All right, so let's get these cards out of here because that is not cards. Those are not cards we're playing with this particular game. All right, so we are about ready to go. Aaron, any questions? Uh, not yet. All right, any questions? I'm good. Good, so let's go ahead and draw seven cards. You can have up to seven cards you may have less than seven cards as the game goes. 
you cannot have more than seven cards. If you have more than seven cards, you must play a card or discard. The first thing the players are going to do is select a character card. You can't play unless you have a character card. If you did not draw a character card, draw and discard until you pull one. Looks like Aaron's got a character. Judah's got a character. They're going to play their first character face down in character slot one. So the opponent doesn't choose their card based on what has already been played. This is the only time a character will be played face down. Certain upgrades, like trap cards, will be played face down because they are a trap and they need to be sprung. All right, we got both in. Aaron grabs his die. I'm gonna roll to see who goes first. I'm gonna move this to character slot one to help you out. All right, roll to see who gets the higher value. Three and nine, so Aaron goes first. The players flip over their cards, uh, read out loud what their attribute is. Good, so uh, mine is that Lormox Delta gains one attack point for every additional Lormox on my team. Okay, and Aaron's is? Familiar. Uh, mine's pretty much the same. Uh, gains one attack point for every additional Lormux on my team. So we got two Lormux out, but they're two different ones. If you can see, Aaron's has a heavy upgrade uh, attached ability, and Judah's got a kinetic. So Aaron won the dice roll, so he gets to move into his equip phase first. Aaron gets to draw a card. Also set it to 10 health. So, set it to 10. We'll use the purple. He draws a card. Now, Aaron can choose to play a character in character slot two or attach one of those two uh, upgrades to his card already in play. He can only play one card per equip phase unless that card says otherwise. Yeah, I know. That play face down? Nope, face up. All right, what does he got? He played uh, Gala Ruck which is a, another tank character. Um, attacks may be split between two targets, melee strike three attack points, and a melee of three attack points. All right, and Gallo Ruck attacks alone, which means if he chooses to use this card, he cannot use this card to attack. All right, so now Aaron enters his attack phase. What is he gonna do? He's got one character to attack. Two cards cannot attack one. The game would be over really quickly and no one would have any fun. So it's one card versus one card. All right, so I have one option, just to attack for three attack points. You can attack for the full six. I can? It's may divide. Yep, that will be altered in the future. But for now, you may attack for six. That's, that's a heavy hit, but six. <laughs> Okay. All right. So my turn. I will draw. Judah skips his recover phase because he did not have any recover upgrades attached. He enters his equip phase. He can either add an upgrade to his character or play another character in character slot two. I will play. Dextry and Hank, who has the special power or attribute Rescue, which is that I may replace a character with, on my team with Dextry and Hank, turning that character to my hand, discarding any attached upgrades and resetting the stats. And then he comes in with five health and two shields. And then I will go to my attack phase where he will attack Gallo Ruck for two. So Aaron's dealt two damage on Gallo Ruck. Uh, he has no recover upgrades attached, so he moves into his equip phase. He draws a card from his library. And then he can either attach an upgrade to those one of those two characters or play a third character in character slot three. So I played uh, Frogwana. Who's the a, dreaded Frogwana. He's another psych character. <laughs> Um, his abilities are that he can target a non-bot character and deal one additional damage at the start of the next three rounds. 
uh, is poison. So he deals the one initial toxic attack, and then that character is poison for the next three rounds. All right, Aaron, you got one character to attack. Who's going to do it? Um, I'll attack Dexter and Hank for... I mean, I know what I can do there, but I'm not going to. <laughs> um, not a wise strategy. Yeah. <laughs> No! I'll go ahead and use uh, no, one to attack. So right. one, and I'll put three use tokens to denote the poison. So it takes one damage from poison. Dexterian Hank goes is to the shield. sick. Does it go to the sh yep. shield? Okay. Uh, and then I will draw. Um, Interesting strategy, playing with cards upside down. I like it. Yep. It's, it's good formation. Uh, the next level strategies. Uh, I will play Lormox Delta again. Oh, he's back. At least, oh, he's back from the hospital, if you will. Yep. Uh, Dextrian Hank will attack Fraguana for two, and Lormox Delta will attack Gallo Ruck for two. And it is your turn. Aaron enters his recover phase. He can't recover, so he enters his equip phase and draws a card. It's a draw card. You didn't draw a card. Can't use it Not right now. You gotta draw a card. And yes, you can. You can now enter your equip phase and attach an upgrade to a character. Yes. I like that. Victorian Med Pack, which restores up to two health points to yes. a non bot target character. And it's got two uses, so you use two use cubes. Did you just go ahead and use one of those to restore? Yeah. So Frogwanas <laughs> use his action, and you can use one of those two cards to attack now. Okay, so I'll attack with uh, Gala Rook. Yep. I'll go ahead and attack next to the Okay. Four, six, six. Bye bye, Hank. And Hank is sent to the KO pile. Can't recover, so he goes into his quit phase. So you kind of get the idea of how the game is played. The goal is to get five characters into the KO pile, or to knock out all three and have your opponent not be able to repopulate on their next turn. The game is Pulsar Event. It is kickstarting right now. Uh, come on out, show your support. Remember, multiple copies of the game mean you can have multiple cards in your deck, which creates all sorts of combos and all sorts of fun. Uh, check it out now. It's going on till July 17th, but act fast. All right, appreciate it, guys. Enjoy.